Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna review the brand new Xcody Sail One projector. I did a previous model review for them. It's right here. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a great projector. Well, this is one step above. It is a little bit more expensive, but the features of this thing, from what I've read, are fantastic. So we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna go ahead and show it to you. I'm gonna take a first look at it and see what it's all about. I know it has a built-in TV stick, which is pretty incredible. So you're gonna get that full, real, authentic Android experience. It's Android 11 on here. So rather than just talk about it now, let's get right into it. Let's unbox it, check it out right now. So first impression of the box is it's actually really nice and you can kind of see uh, a lot of the features that you are to expect for this projector on this box here. If you look on the box, you've got 1080p native. It does emulate it to 4K. You can cast your Wi-Fi, smart OS, Wi-Fi 2.4 or 5G. It does have keystone correction all in 4D, which is really nice. And then it just has a nice little image with more than 7,000 apps built into the TV stick on this device. So let's unbox it, take a look at it. It's a little bit beat up in shipment. That's a little bit disappointing, but I, I could probably blame Amazon for that because it did come from Amazon. So I'll put a link to this in the description section if you would like to find out where I got it. Again, it is Amazon, but they do have a lot of projectors and I wanna make sure you get the right one. So I will put that link down there in the description section. So loosely in the box, you do have the manual right here. It's a quick start guide. It's really not the best manual in the world, but that's why you have videos like this. So let's see what we got here. You got your projector here, then you've got your cords. So we'll look at the cords first. It looks like it is a, maybe a four foot, three foot uh, HDMI cord. So not very long, but that is nice. It does have a remote here. Now this remote is white in color and it does have some hot buttons. So let's take a look and see which buttons it comes with. So this one is going to have the Google Play because this is an Android box, so that's nice. It does have Google Play, does have Netflix, YouTube, and Prime Video as your hot buttons on here. You do have the voice for Google because it is a certified box, so you will have that, that little Google voice control right there, which is nice. You got your home button, you got your inputs right here. This is nice because you can actually change between inputs on your TV. So you can connect this to your TV as well. It looks like it is a Bluetooth remote. It does take looks like AAA batteries, so very basic. It's not one that has to be recharged, so that's what that looks like. It's a nice remote. It does have, this is a great cord to have, guys, because if you've got one of those project, those uh, those old camcorders and you want to plug this in, you use this right here. You can plug in your old gaming systems into this and then this right into that. That's nice that that comes with that. Sometimes you have to buy those separate. And it does have a power cord. Now, the power cord, it looks like, is about six feet, so it's a little longer uh, than the... Uh, HDMI cord, so that's nice. All right, so now we've got the projector. This is the meat of it, guys, and that's it. Nothing else in there. So this is it right here. It is wrapped right now, so let's unwrap it. Take a look. All right, so it's got a little bit of a gray finish to it here, and there is the head. It does have a dunce, uh, dust cap over it, which is really nice. Keeps that dust out of it when you're not using it. That's very, very important, guys. Is Xcode, and then it's got a sensor up there in the front, and then on the side here, you've got your knob here. I imagine that's probably for adjusting uh, manually the focus. You've got a uh, vent right there. There's your power, and you got another sensor back here, and then you have your uh, looks like speaker right there. I'm not sure. I think the stick is in here, so we'll take a look at that in just a minute. And then on this side, you have ports like for extent, expanding storage, you've got uh, headphones, your AV, that's where that cord comes in if you want to play video games on here. You also have your two HDMI ports and then you have one USB port. So cool thing about this, you plug it, if you wanted to put a fire stick on here, you could plug it in here and then use this as your power. You don't have to have any other cords and you got more vents right here. So again, here's the front. So let's take a look at the bottom of the box. All right, the bottom of the box right here, it's model Sail 1 LED lamp. It is image system of LCD, and there's your power made in China and all of that good stuff there. Nothing too fancy. It does have rubber bottoms, and it has the four mount for the, uh, if you want to mount it on the ceiling. Now, over here on this side, it looks like there is a little something that can open up and that you can clean out the vent there. That's nice. And in the back here, let's take a look at this. All right, so there is the stick right there. So it does come built into the stick. It is an HDMI stick, so you got that extra port in there. So this is going to be like, it looks almost like a Chromecast stick right there. So it is going to be a Google certified Android stick. You just don't get that um, on any other projector that I've ever seen. So that's nice that it is 
a separate unit right there just like that. So that's it, guys. That is the entire unboxing. Hopefully you liked that. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in and let's see what this thing really has to offer right now. All right, just went through the setup process here. I'm not going to go ahead and go through too much setup here, but I did have to put in my internet. I did have to select my language and then I selected the apps that I wanted on this device here. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. That first thing you didn't know, you will notice when this first populates up, it's extremely bright, guys. This is a bright projector. 700 ANSI lumens for this pr price point is really really incredible. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is during the day. I have windows that are coming in right here, right now, and you can still see this. It's extremely detailed, extremely focused as far as like, you, it's not too, it doesn't have a little wash, back wash. The sides, the edges are really crisp and sharp. And guys, that to me is the most important because I can't stand when it fades on the edges. As you can see, this just looks really, really nice. I wish you could see it in real life, how nice it actually is. But you can go down here and you can see that it has all of the built-in certified apps, but it also has full access to the Google Play Store. So let's look at the apps that it comes with right now. So you can get more apps, but this is what it comes in built in. And I like that they don't put too much on here right off the bat because it's not taking up your storage. You get to pick what you want. So you got Netflix, Prime, YouTube. Those are always the basics on pretty much any certified uh, box you got here. You got the Google Play Store here. You do have music right there. And then there is the movies and TV portion of the Google Play. And then, of course, that's the full access with games and everything right down here. And then you got Pluto TV, which I am installing because I think it's a great free TV app. Then you got Air Screen here, which is nice. So you can project your either web whether it's Android or iOS, you can project it to this projector, which is great. It's Android built in, which is super, super cool. So as you can see, the blacks are black, the whites are white. It's really nice. So let's go ahead and just for the fun of it, since we're reviewing it, let's go ahead and play something. So let's go down here and let's just throw on, I don't know, this one right here. Katie, you lost your parents. Guys, this feels like I am in a movie right now. Like, that's the quality this is. Now, I have this on a 120-inch screen projector, but you can project this on a wall. You can project it on just about anything that's not too dark or have too much texture to it. Um, most walls would be just fine as long as it's not painted black. But I have it on an actual projector that comes from the ceiling, which I think is always recommended. Um, but as you can see, it's, the blacks are black, the whites are whites, which I really like. But built in all kinds of stuff into this. Guys, this is a full Android. I'm not going to do an Android review. I just wanted to show you the quality of the projector. So let's really quickly get back and check out the specs of this and where I got it. I hope you enjoy this really quick demonstration. I just wanted to share this with you because this is the latest projector by Xcody. It's the Sale One projector. Now, where did I get this? Now, you can get this either on Amazon or on their website. And I'll put links to where you can get it in the description section of this video. But where I got it was, you know, remember when I did that video on the other Xcody projector? They actually reached out to me and they gave it to me complimentary. They said, if you like it, share it with your viewers. And so that's what I did. I opened it up, I liked it. So I'm sharing it with you guys. So I went ahead and post this video. Now I just want you to know that some of the things about this projector that I personally noticed as compared to other projectors that I reviewed are the brightness, the fact that you can watch it during the day. It doesn't have to be completely black room. The demonstration I did actually had light coming in and light behind me. So it, but it looked really, really dark in the blacks and really, really bright in the whites, which I really liked. I noticed that the edges also were really, really sharp. Now it could be because of the contrast ratio, it could be because it's a certified Android box, or it could be because it has 700 ANSI lumens. And I just wanted to talk really quick at the end here for those that are really interested in getting a good quality projector. This one's not cheap, $399 is the retail on this thing. I don't know if they're running any specials ever, but $399, guys. You're buying in high end at a really reasonable price, but $399 is what these go for normally. So you're not getting that $30 projector. There is a huge difference. And I've reviewed on this channel, $30 Blitz Wolf projectors, and I've reviewed $2,800 projectors on this channel. This one's right in the middle, but on the lower end of the price point, which I think is great. Again, this is a 1080p projector native. So you're going to get that native projector. But in addition to that, you're going to be able to emulate 4K. So if you are using 4K video, you can actually watch that, which is really nice. 
It does have, like I said, 700 ANSI lumens, so that is going to be on the brighter end for projectors, certainly in this price point. And again, it does it work on 2.4 gig Wi-Fi or 5G, so it does work on both, which is nice. Now, if you use the 5G, obviously, it's going to stream a little bit better for you, unless the router's far from you, and I have videos explaining all that on this channel. And again, this is Bluetooth, so if you do have those headphones, you can connect it directly to that and not disturb anybody, or you can get a surround sound that is Bluetooth with this as well. It does come with the Bluetooth remote, so you don't need to go out and buy a separate remote for this like you would other projectors that you have to point it at the actual projector, which if it's behind you or around the corner, it's just annoying. Bluetooth is the way to go. It does have those uh, buttons here as well. So it does have the hot buttons. They are not remappable. So whatever they are is what they are. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. But it's got a lot of apps built into it. So it's really nice. Thousands. I think there's like 7,000 apps built into this thing with full access to the Google Play Store. It does have 4D keystone correction, guys. So 4D means that you can, you can literally have this at an angle. You can have it below, above, any four directions. And you can adjust it in the settings. I didn't go over the settings too much in this video because I wanted to show you the quality of the actual image in the video and then talk about the specs. But Keystone Correction is really easy and all the projector videos I've done have that Keystone Correction option. So it's really nice, but this has the 4D. So you really can have it anywhere and still have a perfectly rectangular screen. And I talked about contrast ratio. It's 15,000 to one on this, guys. If you know anything about that, you know that's why it's so crystal clear and sharp, especially around those edges of the image. And that just makes it a full cinematic experience. So when you go to the theater and you see it on the big screen, but it still seems really, really sharp, that's what you're going to get with something like this in your home theater. And because it is so bright and the contrast ratio is so high, you can go up to 30, 300 inches on this thing. So, I mean, you could just, you could project it on the side of your house and just have an amazing night out by the pool. You can watch the Super Bowl or any sporting event on this on the big screen and just make it really, really nice. I think the largest TV that I've ever reviewed on this channel was a 85 inch. Now, I know they have a little bit bigger ones, but they get really expensive. We're talking tens of thousands of dollars to get anywhere near the screen that you could get with this for just $399. So if you think about it that way, it's actually really affordable to do that because it is so bright and so detailed on the image. So that's really all I wanted to share with you guys. I just wanted to show you the projector here. I wanted to show you that it has, it's the only projector I've ever seen that actually has its own TV stick built into it. You don't have to add it. So if you did want to add another Android box to it, or if you wanted to add a Fire Stick to it or anything else, you can because it does have the ports on it as well but you don't have to, and that's the cool thing about it. And it is, again, like I said, has all those certified Google apps and the Google Voice Remote too, which is really cool. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, you like content like this, make sure you do subscribe. If you guys have any questions about this or you wanna purchase this, I will put all the links down in the description section of this video, or you can just comment down there. I'll put the links in the comment section as well. Again, thanks everybody for supporting the channel. Bye.